G'day tubers, if I'm going to give away this digital multimeter, this Peak Meter PM2836, I reckon I probably should do a quick review of it first. So let's turn it on and see how it works. First impressions, looks like any other multimeter I've ever had, except it has the USB port in the top of it. Uh, it has the normal cables, the cables are they don't feel like they're rubberized, but they're, they're fairly long. They're about a meter long, which is always a good thing. Comes with a multi-function socket. Do not apply voltage. I actually don't know what that is. Somebody out there can tell me. Uh, has temperature probes. I bought batteries for it because it's going to need batteries. And it comes with a, like a one meter uh, mini USB cable. So there we go. To get the batteries in, two small screws on the back here, nice and easy to take out, then you hold the back, lift it up and then pull it out. Batteries go in and they are not 18650s, test it, yep it turns on, nice, always test it before you screw everything back together again. Right yeah, two screws back in, turn it on. Nice big screen, it's got a little like a little speedo thing at the top of it. Looks pretty neat. Apart from that, I can pro I can guarantee you I'm not gonna know how to use every function of this, so I'm gonna concentrate on the one function that I got it for, the USB. Black one into black, red into red. And the rest, the, I'm gonna say the rest is um, pretty much simple. There you go, 3.7 volts. So, surprise, surprise, it works as a multimeter. Now, I have no way, I could probably plug that in as well and do a, a voltage test with the, my clamp meter, which is my single favorite thing I've ever got in all time. Um, and I've got my other multimeter here, but it's not gonna mean anything. It's not like a calibrated device, so I'm not gonna concentrate on that. We all know for the price point of these, they're not gonna be 100% accurate. What I'm more concerned about is one, they're not 100% out like volts out which would be really bad and secondly I just want consistency so I really I don't even use this as a multimeter because I've always used my green multimeter um, over here this has been my old faithful so I've always used that so I always have a consistent all the way across so not much to it swing it round AC DC function max minimum it's got a backlight it has a backlight fairly bright you can see it well I don't know how long the best sometimes with the backlight they don't la they don't like stay on for long enough but I think this one's gonna prove me wrong now oh, there we go yeah so now that's about the same as all, all of them right yeah let's get after this let's plug this into the computer now I did read the manual a little bit to work out how to get the USB to work and there's a little button here that says USB you have to click and then hold it's plugged in you've got to plug the USB cable in and then hold the button in cables about a meter long which is uh, perfect in size so all that we got to do plug our cables in red goes into that one for the multimeter and black goes into that one go over to the computer press start done on the computer screen here we can even see that we've got DC written on the screen so we go to AC oh that's millivolts oh there's no AC at all on this one Hertz so you really can see everything on the screen that is fantastic temperature I wonder how the temperature sensor works I'm assuming that gets plugged into there oh it says temp on there so 22 degrees definitely goes up in temperature and it starts coming back down again cool temperature sensor works look after that and make sure we put that back in the box and we can send it away righty yeah, back to voltage righty yeah, let's go up to these batteries and just run a quick voltage test now I can 
overlay this for you. Right Plug the cables back in again. Let's run a voltage test on all 14 cells. Now the bottom, they've all been balanced together the old style way because I don't have enough Batrium stuffs, long ones. Uh, let's go to the computer and change it to maybe a graph so we can have a look what happens there. Now I am going to go from top left and then down and then across. So the top ones are positive on this side. Alright, yeah. Let's go one. Oh, nice. That works. That will make checking cells a whole heap easier if you do it in order. That screen is perfect. Of course, now you can't see me. So all those battery voltages are, are fairly good. bit of a stutter there, maybe that was my fault for not holding it on properly. you still got to hold it firmly, but that's like any multimeter, isn't it? Awesome. Well, that little graph works well. Data logging. Looks like it logs a point every second or so by the amount of log files that are in there. Now if we go stop export test 2 yes here we go this is doing something different this is definitely going to work export successful there we go it's exported everything an excel spreadsheet Of course, why is it saying millivolt? Ah, that was before I started testing. Oh, it actually records what mode it's in, that's good. Geez, it records a lot. There we go. Ah, right down the bottom, there we go. 600 entries, wow. But you can see the pauses in between each time you stop. Up here. So if you pause for a little bit longer in between each one, you're going to be able to tell what the cells are, which is fantastic. I think that's going to be a, a great tool. Well, there you go, tubers. That's another one. That's a nice simple. That's a nice simple test. It definitely works. Um, I genuinely think I like this one as well. I might actually buy a second one to give away rather than giving away this one. Time will tell. Anyway, Tubers, thank you very much for tuning in. If you'd like to win this unit, head on to the forum, link below, and you can win this one in my little competition. There is about 13 days left to run on that. Um, there's a few other things to give away if you want to have a look at the video in the description below or on the end screen, I'll link to it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next one. Cheers.